Hello and welcome to uh, tip number 11 in our continuing series of the top 25 tips of all time. This one comes from a gentleman named Horace Hutchinson. In 1912 he was talking about this. Wow, that's a long time ago. This may turn more into a rant than, a, than, a, than an actual tip, unfortunately, maybe for you. Horace was talking about strategy, golf course strategy, how to play your shots. But here's a problem I have. I have no idea how you can have any golf course strategy when you don't know in which direction the golf ball is going to go or how it's going to curve. I think we're way jumping the gun by even considering golf course strategy unless if you consider golf course strategy, if you know you're going to slice it aiming way left, or if you know you're going to hook it aim way right and hope, again, I have a problem with that. I think it's just as easy to get the correct knowledge to learn how to somewhat hit it straight. So then you can plod your way around the golf course. You know, we so want to jump to the end without learning the steps that get us to the point that we can consider jumping to the end. We watch the tour players or we listen to the tour players talk about you know, how great Jack Nicklaus was getting himself around a golf course or Tiger Woods and absolutely, but they were so much better than we are. They were so much more advanced. They had the right to perceive the thought of how am I going to get from here to there. I think well, I know that golf somewhere in time got all thrown out of proportion where we don't even want to learn the basics. We just kind of want to go to the end and well, that's fine. Golf course strategy is, is great, uh, but I think we have to take a few steps back and figure out what makes things work. To try to turn it into a golf tip, and I'm not suggesting, I got 25 of these to do. I'm not suggesting every single one's going to be a knockout killer. Um, this one probably won't be, but it's still an important thing, and it was in the top 25. Two really, if we narrow it down as much as possible in golf, there's two things that we can narrow it down to. One is it's a game of physics and geometry. Geometry is what makes the golf ball go where, go on the line we are looking for, and now you have to aim it. But at least you know the geometry part of it is going to make a ball take off and fly fairly straight. Now aiming I don't think is really that hard. I think anybody can kind of do that. The physics is what makes it go as far as you want it to or to as have it go not very far. I mean sometimes in golf you don't want the ball to go far. Sometimes you want it to go far. Part of the understanding is the physics of it. You know what is a gas pedal, what is somewhat the brake. So all I can suggest to you in this, in Horace's tip here, is that the physics is what's making the club travel fast, which the old timers I think had it a whole lot better than the new guys do, is that the majority of my speed comes from how I use my hands correctly. The mass majority comes from how I use my hands correctly. Not incorrectly, but correctly. The secondary let's say levers uh, for my power is the line that I swing my arms on. How I swing my arms and the line I swing my arms on. If I swing my arms on the correct line, they get maximum velocity. Every time I swing them off that line, they start to slow down. It doesn't matter how much effort you put in, they slow down if they're going off the track. Then I get a little bit of speed, a little bit, a little bit from my body rotation, not very much. So I would suggest if you're having a power outage, you learn everything you can about how to create more club head speed. Uh, I know on my website, everything in yellow. I always narrowed it down so people knew exactly where to go to find what you're looking for. If you want more club head speed, go to anything in yellow. The, the consistency and the geometry is within the red section more so than the yellow section. Yellow section is more about speed. Red section is about making the ball take off. I think that I, 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 I think you could all agree that 
if you can make a ball do something consistently, you can then plod your way around the golf course. If you're hitting it right and you're hitting it left, you have absolutely no chance. If you're hitting big slices or big hooks, you know, that's, so bad. that's not bad. You can kind of work your way around that. But I would suggest you take the time and effort to learn how to straighten the big curvatures out, and then you can play almost any golf course, almost any hole. So that was from 1912. <laughs> I'm afraid to. I'm afraid. Wow, that's a hundred years ago. Holy cow! But that's what Horace had to say. Um, like I say, more of a rant than a tip, but we're going to go through them. That was uh, number 11.